It's a few people off of my Spurs shirt. Whatever. Oh man, this does not help. This is this is gonna be a bit difficult to deal with. Uh, No, 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 A board, a board, a board. This is already starting terribly. All right. Hello, people. We're building PC today, and I am adjusting my setup. Don't go. Hello, hello, people. Hello, people. Hello, people of the internet. Uh, yes. Everyone say hi in the chat so I know like this is working. Hello. Um, sorry for the terrible looking stream. I'm streaming from my phone. This is completely impromptu. And I'll explain why once we hit like 10, 15 people and stuff. I'm out of breath. Hold up. So this is the PC I'm building behind me. There you go. All the parts are laid out. Uh, it's going to be an absolute mess of a stream, but I'm going to build it. Like I'm going to finish it on stream. I don't care. Uh, a little bit of context, I'm building a PC that's for streaming. Maybe in a couple of months, I will be able to sell my laptop and then build a PC that's for gaming. Uh, I mean, oh sorry, yeah, for, for video editing. So this is a, not really a streaming PC, more of a gaming PC. But some of the parts might confuse you because you'll be like, oh, why do you choose this CPU instead of that CPU? Well, all of that will be explained in today's stream. Sorry for the shaky camera, I'm just setting it up. It feels like a horror movie when it's all shaky cam and stuff. Okay, so... There you go, it's angled down and you can see the, the PC building workspace that way. I am uh, I am the worst streamer alive. Hello, we're building a PC today. Everyone in the chat say hi. I wanna see I wanna see all your lovely chat bubbles. Okay, let's see. Cloverfield part two. Is that a full signed TH jersey? Uh, it's not full signed, but it's like half the squad, so it's official. Yes, I am building a gaming PC. Hi Techody. Uh, Alright, so let's talk about the parts, right? And let's talk about the story behind the parts. Okay, so let's start off with the parts. So the parts that we're building the PC today is, starting off with this, is the, oh, this is heavy. This is the Aorus X570, uh, Aorus Master, X570 Master, Aorus Master V1. And it's a very, very high-end motherboard, which is awesome. And then inside we've got a Ryzen 3700X. I'm going to remove this CPU cooler real quick just so I can show you the CPU because we're not using the CPU cooler. This one is bought second hand. And uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm uh, breaking my CPU as, as usual. So this is the... In, underneath here we have the Ryzen 3700X. Uh, we've got 16 gigs of 3600MHz uh, CL18 Corsair LPX, just box standard RAM. I've not held a motherboard this premium, like this is heavy. I'm gonna put this down. Now in terms of SSD storage, we're using this Lexa SSD, just we need a scratch disk and stuff. This is a streaming PC, so I don't really need crazy fast SSD for editing and stuff. Uh, at least not yet. This is the RTX 3060 Ti. Haha, <laughs> I bet you couldn't get that. And uh, the case we shall be using is this. This is the Fractal Define 7 Compact. So Fractal sent me this PC case to review and a review will be coming up for it. And the fact that I chose this PC case to be my daily driver, PC case probably tells you what the review is going to be. It's going to be positive because I really do like this case. It's really quite a nice case. Let's see the chat. ADA is faster around the same price. Uh, yeah, I know the Lexa is what I could get my hands on. It's not really a, a big deal. I just needed a, a scratch, scratch disk. Yeah, 3060 Ti is so relaxing now. Yeah, I got. I managed to get it at a, I managed to get the 3060 Ti at a decent price through um, through people at AfterShock. So <laughs> don't tell them. I don't tell me. Don't tell them I say that. It, it, and uh, yeah, so a little bit context of how I got all the parts and why are all the parts I chose. So is the B550 Pro one of the best budget motherboard? I don't know. So a bit of context, a bit of story on how I got the parts together, which is why I chose particular parts. Let's start off with uh, how much in total? This total rig that I paid, 1.4k, I don't know, I can't remember, 1.6k, around there, which is insane. So context. Now the GPU, uh, the GPU was, I got it through some friends over at Aftershock, so thank you to them, they managed to 
net me a GPU, and that, that, was, that was good. And then the case and power supply, which is the Fractal Ion 660p, wait, hold on. That was provided to me for review, but I could keep it. The review for the Fractal Defined 7 Compact case is coming, and that review will be coming very soon, uh, maybe in two, three weeks. I like the case a lot, so I'm choosing to build a PC inside. So that was provided. And that's how I can save cost in this case. And uh, this, this, um, this, this thing right here, this is an absolute steal. So I got the motherboard, the RAM, the CPU, the CPU cooler, uh, a cheap case, and a Silverstone 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply, which I am going to keep for future use. $600 on carousel. So yes, you can get a budget deal if you know where to look. $600 for 3700X, 16 gigs of RAM, a really high-end motherboard, and a power supply and a case that you can actually use. Like, mm. I think the case is very similar to like a Techware Nexus Air or Phantom Air. Like, it's, a, it's about that. It's, it's not the same, but it's, it's about that standard. So $600 for CPU, motherboard, RAM, case, power supply is how I got this PC case really cheap. Now if I sold, uh, no, that's second hand. So these are the second hand parts. The case and power supply from Fractal Design are brand new, obviously. And then the GPU is brand new, obviously. So yeah, crypto world, no money, obviously. So that's kind of context for all the parts. So one point, I think the total adds up to 1.7k for me because I didn't have to pay for a lot of things. Uh, so just I'm just going to put it out there so you get context. What's the GPU? The GPU I chose is this. Zotac 3060 Ti RTX, whatever. Yeah, so we're going to put this here and we're gonna get building. Perk of being a YouTuber, yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so let's uh, start off by taking a look at this motherboard. So because it's a second-hand part, it's a bit dusty and it needs a bit of cleaning, but I don't actually have alcohol swap, so I am just gonna pretend like it's not dusty at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, why 3700X instead of 5 Series? Just super cheap, $600 for CPU, motherboard, RAM, case, power supply, and carousel. Like, dude, you think I'm gonna turn that down? No. Uh, imagine he turns it on, but it doesn't. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to remove the CPU cooler from this motherboard. Ah. Ow! Ow! Okay, that hurt. Ouch. Uh, what just happened is this stupid lever on the Rave Prism cooler just snapped my finger. Dude, I'm streaming on my phone. I'd love to give you a top POV. But I can't. I don't have streaming equipment, I don't have a team, I don't have cameras, I only have my phone. So, sorry. I want to I wanna, I wanna give you I wanna give you top POV, but maybe in a year. In a year, then maybe I'll have to set an equipment to do that. But right now, I don't. So yeah, we're going to remove the CPU cooler first and foremost. Like this. I'm going to do it one-handed. So, okay. Loosen that latch. Go down. Oh, man, how do I do this? Please don't break, please don't break. Ah! Okay, there you go. So we're removing the Rave Prism because while it is a passable CPU cooler, it's not as good as it should be. It's not, it's not really good enough for 3700X and it's a bit noisy. Because this PC is basically for gaming and streaming. Yes, I plan to start streaming on Twitch. A <laughs> giveaway PC. <laughs> nah. Uh, camera quality of your phone still looks better than most of it. Yeah, that, I know, I know, that, that's true. So, I need it to be quite quiet as well as performing well. So, this Rave Prism has to go. So, we're taking this off and we're going to be using the Fractal Lumen CPU cooler in there as well. So, I forgot to take the Fractal Lumen CPU cooler. So, I'm a bit of a, a dumbo. I need to go and get that right now. You guys, stay entertained while I dash upstairs and get the Lumen. Alright? Can we start a... That Pro 4, yeah, yeah, AIO, it's AIO. Uh, I am selling the stock cooler if you want to buy it. <laughs> yeah, the, the Lumen cooler. Alright, so let's start a, uh, everyone take turns counting 1 to 100 in chat and I'll be back. Alright.
All right, I'm back, 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 I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, and this is the CPU cooler I'll be using, the Fractal Lumen. I really like it because for AMD CPUs, it's very easy to mount uh, and it performs good enough. So that's all that I care about. Now I need to get some toilet paper so I can clean my freaking thermal compound. I can't find, I can't find it. All right, we shall use this piece of cloth to clean the, <laughs> we're gonna clean the thermal compound off this uh, CPU cooler. There was way too much thermal compound being applied here. It was a, it's not very good. Cleaning it, cleaning it right here. So this is my room set, as you know, I have another room in my house that has become the main set which you've been watching and seeing in my reviews and that's where you see the table and the lights and everything so there's no table in front of me so I'm just literally sitting in front of the cameras uh, which is a bit awkward and unnatural but it is what it is so here we have the 3700X lovely CPU down there 8 core baby 8 cores yeah, I don't know how I'm going to be able to build this PC on stream because there's a lot of things to do but I will try okay so, thankfully, I don't need to install RAM and CPU into the motherboard because it's a second-hand rig. I pulled it from a second-hand rig. It already is installed. And also because I built a PC previously, in this case, for the Lumen review, a lot of the things are already pre-set up. So there's no concerns there at all. So, let's start off by removing the side panels. And on the fractal, they kind of just clip on. So, I'm going to put them on the bed. But they can take a good nap or like deal with these things. I am going to faint. Imagine if you could phone a friend right now. Okay, so this is the case. The Fractal Define 7 Compact. I plan to do a full-on review on it. I do like it, which is why I'm using it for in-depth, like uh, for my daily driver build. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start off by installing the motherboard because the power supply is already in. Uh, all the fans that I'm using is already in, so there's no like real concern as to which is the order. How much are the Fractal AIO in Singapore? The S24 Lumen, I think it's 188 and the S36 is 250 if I'm not wrong, if I remember correctly. So that's the pricing in Singapore. I'm out of breath. Whew. I don't know why. I'm unfit, man, guys. Come on. Alright, I need to get some fans. So, I don't know, I feel like the, the Fractal could do with a little bit extra cooling, so yeah, will this work? Yep, it'll work. So, we're going to mount this in there, this is a Corsair AF140, whatever. I'm going to put it in there just for extra airflow, but it's a very dirty, <laughs> disgusting, grimy fan, so I'm going to clean it with wet tissues. I don't care, guys. I don't care that I can, you wake up your idea recruit. <laughs> it's at Cynetry. Never mind, don't send the routine then. Uh, X72 and X73 is really good. Ayo, man's looking buff. <laughs> My routine is literally... I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's the most bro split. I do... I try... I target four times of gym a week, but I usually end up only with three um, chest arms one day and then back shoulders the other day and then uh, every two back days, that back day will have... Every other back day will have legs as well. But I rarely do legs. My legs are really very nice, even without working them out. So I'm cleaning this fan before I set up this case and put it inside because I want to add extra cooling and maximum performance because I can. Because of why not? Because I can. Alright, so let's clean this up. I know I'm using a wet tissue to clean the fan, clean the electronics, blah, blah, blah. I'll let it dry, don't worry. I don't really care. It's not going to break. Electronics are not as fragile as you think, guys. It's not as fragile as you think. Okay, so let's wipe it clean. Sheesh! 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 Okay. Um, best it did. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's clean this up. Keep this nice and moist. You shouldn't get your electronics moist, but whatever. Cost order model, I think. Need to rub it harder, yes. Gotta grab more tissues for that. Uh, not really. I'll be fine. 
I just need to get into the nooks and crannies. Should be good. Okay. Let's go. Let's just uh, try to reach as much of the tight corners as we can. You know. I have the worst psychomotor skills. So the, the fan is substantially cleaner here. Happy 20th birthday. Wait, how do you know it's my birthday? What the? That's creepy, bro. That's creepy. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's clean this. Sheesh. It's okay. Well, my birthday is next, next Monday, so. The random... The random pan in on the aircon <laughs> on the monitor review was hilarious, but I was rushing that stuff. Uh, yeah. My birthday is next, next Monday. So, yeah. Why did you say my birthday is 9 11? That's a bit screwed up. Okay, um, let's go and install all these things. So, I'm going to start off by loosening the fan screws over here, the front fan screws, and then move it down, then slap the other fan in. Uh, and then after that, set it up properly, move the, move the cable manager fan down here, the fan wires down here. Because the tempered glass is like dark tinted, I'm not really worried that the fan is grey. It will look out of place. So yeah, please keep up the good work. Thank you. Birthday stream. I thought you were doing advertising. What advertising? Advertising for what? Okay, um... Remember guys, even though I might get sponsors and stuff, my aim is always to help the consumers first. So if it's something that I think is like a scam, I will not advertise it. I have gotten some like crappy offers from scammers like, oh, we, should, we just need you to talk about this app for a couple billion dollars. And then and it's like, uh, it's a scam app. Obviously I'll turn that down because it's not worth, not worth the effort or the reputation or the risk or basically the, the damage to anyone. So. So what we're going to do now is we're essentially just going to move the fan down so we can slide another fan in. It's mounted kind of in between so that you can get decent airflow. Sorry if I can't read your chat now because, well, obviously I'm doing this ah, right here. Nice to see these spring-loaded screws. They help absorb some of the fan noise. Definitely good to see. Since I can't play any music because, you know, DMCA and copyright, uh, can you guys sing like Hurricane in the chat? You know, the, the, this new Kanye song by Dur with, with uh, The Weeknd. It's a very nice song. I really like that song. Seasons changing! Oh wait, no, that's the Yandy version. See you in dreaming! All is there for me! Okay, let's see. 20 year for the anniversary. By the way, the NIO fan remember the wind intake direction. Yes, the AIO will be uh, exhaust out the top. That will be intake, exhaust. Uh, I built in this case before, so it's not really too intimidating. What's intimidating is doing it on stream because I'm sweating. I'm sweating buckets. Not, not exactly buckets, but I am sweating. Um, I am definitely sweating. So, I got me towel, boys. Got me towel. Got this towel. I'm gonna dry my hair. I swear to it. What's GPU? 3060 Ti. You got custom keyboard? I don't have. I'm building one, but it's not even for me. I don't have money. Gorilla Punch Undy. Play some Roblox, please. K can mute Leo. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, this is like cooking stream for, for electronics. <laughs> Yes. Hey guys, it's your boy KSI Ola GWT. Today we are going to unbox my new gaming PC. You know, sometimes when I build PCs, I just kind of screw things in randomly with no like uh, thought. I just brute force it. And uh, it seems like Fractal Design brute force the screw in as well because uh, his markings here, so whoever built put this fan in in the, the fractal factory also decided that they could just brute force it. So I appreciate you scratching up the front of my case. Um, they did send it to me, so I don't know what to do. 
Make sure the holes are aligned. You cannot make, you gotta make sure your holes are not out of order, right? If not, they're gonna cause you trouble. I'm not very good at managing my holes. Would you rather fuck out PC components every month or have a full build every year? I would rather fuck out PC components every month. There's more than 12 components in a, in a PC build. But it sounds kind of painful to fuck PC components out. So I'll probably just, I'll probably just get a full build. I gave up looking for 36 year. Go back 18 minutes for the parts. Thank you for your help, Takodi. You're very helpful. Uh, where's the lamb sauce? Is a 3700X. So the air bubble will flow upwards. Uh, no, the reason I put the AIO above the CPU is because I want the GPU to get fresh air. It's a gaming rig. Also, I don't care because the performance difference is at most 10 to 15% uh, in, a, in a case like this. So it doesn't really matter. Although I should, mm, I should be doing intake because there's a flat front on this case. Whatever, you. it is a silenced PC. I'll be undervolting my CPU for maximum thermal efficiency because I'm like a, like a crypto miner or something. All right, tighten that. Tighten that sucker down, even if it strips the screw, whatever. I don't plan to move that fan for 10 years. So it does not matter to me. Actually, I don't know how the fan layout will be. I could put the AIO in front, but because uh, the fractal defined cases has a flat front, I don't really feel like it's desirable. Look, there's plenty of ventilation on the sides, but it's still a flat front. So I kind of want to put it on top, and in that case, it might be an intake. Then it will be like a very positive airflow kind of thing. Honestly, at this point, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just like chill. The performance difference is rarely that big. Especially when you're running in an aircon room and you're not really running anything apart from Valorant. That, the, that you know, I really need to bother too much. This is why I like air-cooled PCs. They're a lot simpler to deal with. You know, they're just, they're just like a monogamous relationship. You don't have to deal with too many stupid factors that want to kill each other. No, you just deal with airflow. Friendly, good, kind airflow. And I messed up, bollocks. God damn it! Okay. Ah, this is. I need a screwdriver from LTTstore.com. Oh man, everyone's leaving the stream. That's pain. How's Galax quality? I find Asus 2X and I read how MSI chip on COVID. Who is this for? It's for me. Let's see. Why can't I see the chat? Watercool is the worst, man. I'm sorry. Is Fractal Design Meshify 2 a better, better case? I guess if you want airflow, the Meshify will always win. Can you do a secondhand $400 PC? I could, if I had four hundred dollars, I could build a four hundred dollar PC too. That'd be interesting content, but I can't offer it to everyone. That's the problem. You know, I would do it, but then I would have to do it for more. A lot of people come to me and ask, "Oh, can I build a PC for you?" Well, I can't anymore. I just don't have the time, man. As a NS man, I really don't have the time to deal with half of these things. I probably won't be able to finish this PC build on stream. I'll probably finish it off stream because I don't have the endurance or the time or the energy to deal with the YouTube stream but I will try my best guys I will try my best and uh, I promise you I will not give up okay I promise you I'll try not to give up although I might end up giving up anyway okay cable all the way yeah this is what I should have done from the start I am sweating actually all the best for your channel, then an, an intro. <sighs> oh my gosh, I am sweating buckets, dude. Oh. <sighs> yeah, so, um, Elgato, if you want to sponsor me some streaming gear, you know where to come get me. Oh, yeah, by the way, a uh, little sneak peek in the future videos. So, <laughs> tomorrow, kind of extra. No, I did not, kind of extra. Don't worry. I have a lot of different things coming up. I've got, uh, I got a video about the Corsair K65 RGB Mini. I got a video about the 4000X coming up. I got a video about, um, you know, I'm gonna be comparing this case to the Be Quiet 500DX. Is Mirage 240 ARGB a good cooler? I don't know. Is it worth to upgrade GPUs now since it's so freaking X? Well, um, 
I don't know if it's worth it. It depends on what GPU you currently have and like how much you need that GPU. But I can tell you this, GPUs will get more expensive as time goes on. At least for the next couple, next three, four months, they will go back up in price. It's pretty much a dead cap. It's pretty much a dead cap balance, I think. Um, yeah, this is this is also smaller than the Meat Tower. This is a Define 7 Compact. This is not a full Define 7 PC case, so... Oh my god, man, man. I need a screwdriver from LTTstore.com. Uh, oh, I'm sweating. I'm really sweating. I'm going to take a shower after this. Okay. Define 7 Compact Accessory. Look, I really like this case, but recommendation, wrong pitch. <laughs> I fix it, yeah. There should be a new AMD GPU in October. R6600, no, next year. Okay, this is the Define 7 Compact Accessories box. Look at how messy it is. It's all bags and Ziploc bags and stuff. Techware. The Techware Fusion. A small form factor case. Look at this. Everyone should do this small little section. Everything spit up and neat. This is amazing, dude. Techware did an amazing job with the screws on the Fusion. Techware did an amazing job with the Fusion. And that, that's why the review will be coming next Saturday as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. Let's see the chat. Damn, that's right. Athlon. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I need to get all the screws out and figure out which is the right screw for my purposes. I am getting a headache. You know what? I don't care. Oh, I don't care. I'm just going to screw it in. And if it's the wrong screw, cancel me. Alright, I don't care. Alright, don't can don't actually cancel me, you guys, but uh, you know. Unlike Stefan on the Verge PC, uh, I will not take two years to apologize for my mistakes if I use the wrong screw. I will just edit it now that I am using the wrong screw. But I will explain that it's because I am an idiot who doesn't know where my actual screws are for anything. I don't know where anything that I own is. So I'm just gonna grab random screws, screw in the fan, and if it fits, it sits, alright? It's like a cap. Do not follow my advice. This is why I can't do a proper PC build guide, by the way. I don't have a team, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough energy to shoot a proper PC build guide that, you know, people would say, oh, this is terrible advice, don't follow what he teaches you. Because, well, the truth is, it's very difficult to shoot PC build. Um, you've got so many angles, so many close-ups, you need to adjust lighting in every, every other shot if you don't have the right kind of set. Um, you need multiple camera angles to be most efficient, like, it's a nightmare. And to do it alone, like, the people who do it alone, respect to them. The people with the team, like, okay, less respect, but still. How much was, uh, what are your ranks for GPU brands? Do you earn much doing this? No, I don't earn much currently, but we can always hope. Uh, my aim isn't to just be a small channel, man. You think I'm going to stay small? No way, man. I don't aim 23, 24k. I don't aim to be 23.6k subscribers like another channel, but uh, I aim to be Linus. Straight up, Linus. You know, I say this to the world, not out of arrogance, but out of ambition. You know, when you say to the world, like, oh, you want to do this, you want to do that, then you kind of made a kind of a promise to people. And then there's that challenge in the air that you have to figure out how to actually do it. I screwed the fan in the wrong way. At this rate, I'm not gonna get to lighter like size because I am an imbecile. So, you might as well just unsubscribe now at this point. I'm, I'm hopeless. Remember me when, yeah, when that happens, please. I don't follow us by the aces. We were here. One day you'll blow up. We were here at 75. <sighs> Man. Look, I would love to answer a lot of your questions, by the way. Why never buy an electric screwdriver? I know money. Do I even have battery? I've got 65% battery, so that's fine. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. They can never stop me now, never stop me now. Uh, are you guys watching the Valorant Berlin Masters tournament? Because tomorrow, 9pm, will be the Singapore game. 
cheap cheap food of our life changing after I got one. Yes, I should get one definitely. But uh, no money, no money. This right here is not a. This is not an effort. This is not a effort or heat induced. Um, sweat. This is a stress-induced sweat because god damn am I stressed building a PC on live. Everything is going wrong all the time when you build a PC on live stream. Help. Oh man. But thank you guys for staying up and supporting me and like watching my videos. Also, PRX gang, rise up. Can you help me build your PC? No, I'm sorry. Go to Simple Square, pay a guy 20 bucks to do it. Uh, you know, dude. I tell you, building PC is a freaking... Building a PC and talking and streaming and live streaming and all that, it's, it's, it's a hassle. So yeah. Oh, 39 viewers. What GPU is going into this? Everyone keeps asking. And everyone keeps getting the same answer. 3060 Ti, guys. 3060 Ti. I'll put this here so that there's a reminder. Let's see. That's it. Does that show? No, that doesn't. Oh, there you go. There you go. I'll put it here so you can see it. The impossible GPU to get. Put in description. <laughs> I have a budget of 8K increasing your commission. Okay, if you have a budget of 8K, that's a different question, dude. Because with 8K, then I can do a very interesting video. If I was just building a $1,000 PC, like, um, it's, very, it's not worth the effort and not worth the time because I just... As a one-man team, man, I can't pull off the I can't pull off the PC build guide video, especially with my current upload schedule of targeting to be daily uploads. I don't know if you notice. I don't know if you appreciate it, but yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, one K PC is interesting for my viewers. No, for sure, but I can't do it with my upload schedule, and I, I don't know, man. I don't have the effort or the energy or the resources to do it, so it's kind of like difficult. Everything's a nightmare. So we got the two fans after like 30 minutes. I hate myself. I'm the worst PC builder alive. Uh, but let's continue. All right, all right, all right. Now, fun fact, I am the worst PC builder. Okay, I'm not the worst PC builder, but usually in my videos when it comes to building the PC, because filming is very important, uh, I usually get my friend Alex, which you have seen on my videos before, to do it. He's brilliant. Much better with his fingers than me. And that's not to say that, you know, I'm terrible at building PCs. I don't know how to build PCs at all. It's just that he's so much better at that it's so much more efficient to just get him to do it. And he likes doing it. And I like to give him, you know, I treat him to dinner, or, like buy him something or like just give him uh, a small paycheck to do it for me. Just in exchange. What do I hear? A screwdriver. Oh, there's a screw stuck inside. All right, it's free. Safe. All right. Now we're going to install the motherboard here. If you don't know what motherboard this is, this is the... You can learn and teach your videos, viewers who, who are keen to learn too. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I know, I know, but uh, it's, it's tough. So, I think the CPU cooler goes in first. No, at least the, the radiator for the CPU cooler goes in first. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm going to faint on stream, dude. For real. For real, Jesus. So we got the Lumen. I really like the Lumen, by the way. It's a very nice all-in-one CPU cooler. We got two fractal Lumen, uh, what is this called? These are Aspect fans, uh, which have RGB on them. I don't really care about RGB, but you care. You might care about RGB. And then we've got the CPU cooler itself. It's oxidized a little bit, but it's not too bad, so it's fine, okay. Uh, and then we have the mounting hardware on top of that. <sighs> I am so damn tired. So this is, I think, Intel LGA 1150 mounting hardware. And uh, since we're building an AMD rig, we don't need that. We don't care. We don't care. Oh, that came off. Oops. Oops. It's embarrassing. Okay, so we're going to remove the mounting bracket of the Lumen S24 and replace it with the Intel one it slides up, should just slide up quite easily. It should, and it does when it's a brand new cooler, but when it's been sitting there for a few weeks and oxidizing a little bit, this does tend to happen. Ah! There you go. 
I am hungry, tired, out of breath, about to faint. Jeez. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Opening up my mounting hardware. Just to make sure that it's mounted before we put the CPU cord in. Like so. So you take this piece, the heat seam oxidizes that fast. Gee, I wonder why he's tired. I don't know, dude. I've I made I already made like a whole hour trip. Uh, I spent like six hours making videos today, dude. I'm freaking naked. Slides in just like that. Lovely jubbly. It's copper, so it's inevitable that it's gonna oxidize really fast. So like a brand new cooler doesn't oxidize when it's in the box. Usually because it's like a layer of oil on it. But once you wipe, apply, wipe and stuff, there's alcohol on it. That that oil is gone and it's gonna start oxidizing real quick. Uh, it's not really very oxidized, so it's still fine, but. Yeah, the passively cool PC is really cool. Why do they seem to be releasing super GPUs after releasing TIs? Well, when you have the illusion of choice, I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I guess the super lineup and the TI lineup are really just to basically maximize profits by basically creating more options for the consumer. So let's say this GPU die, you know, if if it was all TI GPUs, right? Let's say if it was all, if this silicon wafer was all cut up, this is my guess, right? This is not fact. This is not fact, all right? Um, if this, let's say like a wafer is all 30, you cut it all up into 3060 TIs, and uh, then you have some leftover on the sides, which are all usable wafers. But instead of that, you have the edges all be 3060 supers, which are slightly bigger GPU dies, and in the middle will be 3060 TIs, then maybe you can make more GPUs. This is all conjecture. This is all BS. I'm pulling this out of my ass. But I'm guessing. It's got to do with some sort of optimization, right? It can't be anything else apart from that. It has to be some sort of thing about optimizing profits and optimizing thingies and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to put this in here. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm tired. Okay, so we're going to put the cooler up here. And we're going to put it like this. Right, like this, and then the fans and all the cables will go into the back over here, and right, and plug into the CPU fan header somewhere on the motherboard. So it's gonna be like this. Dude, I just helped my friend get the parts and he shattered the glass panel. Lol. Is it possible to build me a second Henry? No, sorry, I'm too busy right now uh, to do so. So, yeah. Okay. Jeez. Let's open this up. This top panel, by the way, you can replace it with like a sound absorption. Sound absorption. Uh, but obviously, I went for the ventilation one because I like airflow. This is the air filter, the top air filter. Very nice and lovely journey. And then we can screw in the radiator uh, along with its fans uh, as well. So let's start off by screwing in the fans into the PC. See, I hate RGB fans because they got both, they got two wires to deal with as if one wasn't too many already. You gotta deal with the RGB header as well as the fan header. So, yeah, we're gonna screw this in. We cannot use the overly long screws. If not, we will break and puncture the radiators. But apparently, modern radiators, that's not a concern anymore because, oh, it's designed around user error. Which makes sense, honestly. So. Alright, let's uh... Let's see... Let's take out the screws that we need. So this, these are the tiny little screws. They're long with the little screw bits at the end. We're gonna need eight of those to screw the fans in. I think I'll just screw like four, four screws in total for two fans, because... I can't be bothered, honestly. So this will be exhaust. It has to be exhaust, right? Screwing it in, wobble lubba dub dub. Okay. 
I'm gonna stick to two screws, man. I don't care. Ow! Honestly, I feel like building a PC and watching me build a PC is like watching an episode of The Office. It's just disaster comedy. Short of Freund or whatever it is. Sadistic humor. See, two screws is enough. I don't need four. I'll keep the others for a rainy day. Couldn't give a bollock. Couldn't give a bollocks arse. Okay, let's go this way. And put the fans in this way. Do a bit of cable management like this so that we can hide the cables easily that way. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, Have you guys seen Season 5, Episode 10 of Rick and Morty? That's a really good episode. Like, really, really good. Uh, if you haven't, you definitely should because it's a very, very exciting, interesting episode. It's like, it's, uh, it's really cool, it's really intense, it's really dramatic. It's got all the, stuff, the answers that you, you wanted to hear about the Rick and Morty universe. No spoilers, obviously, but it's clearly got to do with Evil Morty. We'll explain that to you. Um, they will explain that to you in the show itself. Also, Shang-Chi is a really good movie that I rec apparently a lot of people say you should watch. I have not watched it, so I don't know, but... Uh, Everyone I know that has watched it say that it's like it's bustin' bustin'. Like the action is good, the writing is pretty good. Maybe the pacing is a bit off and stuff. Ah, I'm sweating buckets. Holy hey. Holy! Holy moly! Holy moly! Oh, oh, there you go. Get the right screw, screw that in. By the way guys, I am going to start a Twitch page and in the future all my live streams will be on Twitch. There will be an announcement uh, post on YouTube, and an announcement post on Discord, an announcement video on the respective gaming streams page. But uh, I will be moving to Twitch just because there seems to be more community there. And I want to see if I can do well there and perform. If, uh, if I can, I'll become the next Shroud and I'll just give up on Zach's tech. I'm just kidding. That won't happen. Um, the succeeding part won't happen. Giving up on Zach's tech might happen one day. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Let's, let's see. Shee! Okay, wait. What, how does that get? Go in the hole. Sun. Sun. Screw, my dear screw. Screw you. That's right. All right. We got it in the holes. Let's see the let's see the chat. Raging Fire is a true Jackie Chan movie. The two hundred for 1070 is a good deal. Bad times were in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, father had a friend who can get GPU for MSRP. Protons and neutrons. Then where do you get the deal? How do you get a thirty sixty? Yeah. Half full drink up. I should drink some water. Man, Joe me thirty sixty for MSRP, bro. Just kidding. I also can get. Alright, so we do a bit of cable management, keep the cables out of the way, and uh, probably just stick it through this hole right here in the back, right here. All of it, all of those cables go in, in there, in there, like this. Go in the grommet. There's no cheese and crackers in prison, grommet. We got to hide the body, Gromit. Alright, go in the rubber Gromit, let's go. Can we be friends? Have you guys heard Donda? If you haven't heard Donda, you should go listen to that album. It's really, really good. If you like hip-hop especially, if you like R&B, you'll probably enjoy it as well. The samples are beautiful and glorious. And it's a wonderful little album. Now, I'm not going to talk about Kanye's politics or his insane demeanor, but he is a brilliant artist without a question, without a shadow of doubt. Like, despite his controversies, as an artist, you can't deny his brilliance. I say that as a complete fanboy, obviously. So how do I hope the screws come up here? Okay, so there you go. Get the right rails aligned, because I keep it real. I keep it 100. 
Um, did I use the wrong screws? I hope I didn't. No, I did not use the wrong screws. Thank goodness. So let's put that. Let's put that in there. Now I can re cable manage everything again. Okay, there you go. Oh, I should be using the spring loaded screws, no? You know what? Who gives a red bollocks? <gasps> I think I know what these screws are for. These are not the right screws because the screws I should have used are the ones that I use for the front fans or something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm shaking from hunger and exhaustion. I'm, I'm just gonna say screw it and continue and just be okay. You see, sometimes in life you make mistakes. What's important is you keep moving forward and just pretending like they never happen. That's that's not true. Don't don't listen to my advice. Maybe listen to me for like keyboard advice and PC part selection advice or PC building advice. Don't listen to me unless I have a script. Oh, I'm gonna puncture. I'm gonna puncture my freaking reservoir if I screw this in too tight. Um, I do not want to do that. Okay. Okay. Seems to be the right screws though. I, I can't remember. Um, I need to look up on screws. I think that's my biggest weakness. I don't know how to screw. Okay, that came out wrong. Uh, shaky hands, tired eyes, weak mentality. I'm explaining the Arsenal football league. Football club right now. Pogless champers, normal screws. No, 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 no not spring-loaded. <laughs> Thank you, Equity. I got it right, don't worry. I got it right in the end. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I Look, I know it doesn't look too good on me to not really know some of these things, but it's not that I... Usually, I would check a menu. Usually, I'll be thorough. I will be prepared for my videos, but this is a live stream, so... I would... You know, this is a live stream and I'm just... I just want to get my PC build done. Now, if I build a PC for someone, if I did PC build guide, I will be real careful to make sure everything is screwed in and like, oh yeah, you gotta get this right, you gotta get that right, because I'm teaching someone or I'm helping someone. When it's for me, well, I could care less. Because I am someone who doesn't mind a bit of sloppiness in my own personal build. Because it's for me, right? You know, the expectation is by me, for me. And I value my time more than screwing in the extra four, three, screws, whatever. Because I'm not using the right screws here, however, I'm going to try to screw in every single screw. Uh, because I, I think that it will need the support that it is. Let's see. Nice, gods to love a good PC build, especially when you build yourself. Do you use a custom keyboard? No, I know money, but I just use a Techware B68. Uh, should I go to sleep? No, I don't. Uh, I'm not. I'm not tired enough, and uh, I want to get this rig going. No question. Like even if I end the stream, I will make sure I finish this build tonight. So, might as well do it on stream, right? Content, baby. Content, content, content. I might finish it on stream. Just because it makes more sense to do, to do that. There you go. Screw in the screws. Look, you know there's a distinct difference between the quality screws from like a quality, like a higher end brand and a cheaper brand. Because when you deal with fractal design screws, they never strip. They don't even get scratched. They don't look bad after, even if you use a lot of force in them. Of course, they'll dent a little bit. But compared to say, you know, these cheap CPU coolers from China or whatever, those screws just start flexing and blending. So it's like fancy, fancy companies do really have certain things that they do stand out with. So it's not all just uh, 
show and no actual uh, performance because certain build quality things like one of the things I love about the Define 7 compact that I will talk about in my full review is that the build quality is really really good uh, yeah they strip easily if you if you use a lot of force it's inevitable that it will happen but it strips less it strips less and you can see that there's less dentage and less bending even when you use a lot of force. The real RGB is in your heart. There is RGB by the way. What are the calories for the building? Look at my channel for a good PC just built. Hey, get out of here, Eddie. No self-promotion in my stream. That's a bit rude. If I had moderators, you'd be banned by now. So just be careful with that. Don't, don't go around people stream self-promoting. It's not very polite. You know. Uh, people build up their following just for you to come along and be like, oh, watch my video instead. That's a bit rude. I'm just explaining you the perspective. I'm not too pressed about it. I am going to clear dust from my PC with my fingers and my mouth. That was terrible. Okay, try not to break any capacitors while I'm at it. Oh my God. I got spit all over my motherboard. Oh, guess what? I don't care. <laughs> I piss off everyone with my PC builds. So now we're gonna install a SSD. I actually don't don't think I should install it here. I'm gonna install the SSD in the second drive because this is this is PCIe Gen 4. I'm gonna put it in the PCIe Gen 3 drives slots so that we can keep the Gen 4 slots free for future upgrades. Ah, okay. So this is a short one. All right, it's great, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm chill. I'm not too obsessive. We will use. I don't know if this is X two. If this is X two, I don't want to use it. So long as it's X four, I'll use this. Use this right one. Uh, but this is not a particularly crazy fast SSD and Linus has shown that you don't really notice mega amounts of differences when you use NVMe versus SATA and everything, so especially in day-to-day -day use unless you're running a server, so let's, let's find out. Okay, let's go into the chapter, box contents, no, let's go into installing, uh, I'm going to fade. Installing Okay, I'm 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 falling asleep while reading this. Uh, expansion card. No. Maybe it's maybe it's expansion card. Let's see. Installing a memory. Very nice. Setting up crossfire and SLI. Okay. Onboard buttons, switches, and LEDs. You know what? I'm going to Google because it's easier to Google. Reading the manual. <laughs> nice. Imagine, imagine reading the manual. Let's, let's see. I'm going to Google now. XYZ70 ARS Master. M.2 slots. That's what I'm googling right now. 3060 TF. Also, Stefan Etienne is back. Yeah, I saw the video. Plug in the CPU power first, ZX. Yes, no, 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 no. The motherboard's not in, don't worry. Relax, relax. That I know. Calm down, I got it. Come on, Tom Sartre, save me. You see, unlike Stefan Etienne, well, back then, I actually do some research, so. Uh, let's see, M.2 slots, 3, so you got PCIe 4.0, X4, third M.2 contains, consumes 4 lane X16 slot, SATA, what? What? Okay, okay let's read. Alright, uh, with the master we have this, 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 why triple M.2 slots that are all active at the same time as triple PCIe X16 slots. And a quiet fan, blah blah blah. Oh, this motherboard has a fan, that's cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it has 2.5 giga gigabit as well, it's convenient. See, I. 
This is why I don't like building on live stream. Why are you sweating? I'm stressed. Let's say I have an 8th gen mobile. Can I flash BIOS? The 9th of 10th gen? I don't think you can do that. You, you, you can't. You can't flash an 8th gen mobile to 9th gen, 10th gen as well. Okay. At the cost of a 4 lane bottom PCIe 4 slot and a pair of PCH M.2 slot that don't share as pairs. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. This feels like XQC's PC build live stream at this point. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I am so tired. Holy hell. It's time to sleep. Uh, if general, yeah, 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 page, page 11 of the menu. Good night, good night, if you're going to sleep, good night. Um, let's go. Thanks, brother. I am, I'm, I'm a bit frazzled. Let's see. <clears throat> Third generation AMD Ryzen processor. You have one M.2 connector. Second generation, you want it. Integrated a chipset, one M.2. You know what? You know what? You know what? I don't know what. And do this okay. You know what? I'm just gonna use the chop socket. Okay. Just use PCIe Gen 4. And then when I do get a fast SSD, I'll take the SSD out, switch it around, and it will be all okay. Alright, it'll be all fine. Let's just think about now, not the future. Because you can't go wrong with the top slot. You just can't. But you can with the bottom slot. So comes with a freaking nice heat sink, but he freaking used it and didn't clean it. God damn it. The thermal paste now has gunk on it. Gobbledygook on it. Ah. Right. Yes, I just used a wet tissue to clean it. I'll let it dry, don't worry. Um my SSD goes in. Okay, we're installing the SSD now, boys. I am so clumsy. Look, I know all the stuff to do, but I'm just so damn clumsy. This is why I don't like building PCs. I have the hand-eye coordination of a mongoloid. So let that dry for a bit before installing it. I fear for the wood. Okay, um, all right. Let's see, let's get that out of the way. Let's get all that out of the way. And the motherboard, it's time for it to enter. Everyone say goodbye. Everyone say goodbye, Aorus. I need, yeah, OmniDesk should sponsor me, I know, right? Everyone say goodbye to Aorus. It's going in and uh, CPU power is gonna be plugged in, don't worry. Man! Oh man! Jesus! Alright. Alright. Let's put that in, baby. No! Are you for real? This needs double eight pin? Double four pin? Double eight pins? Oh my goodness. So the last PC I built here didn't need double eight pins, so now I need to go get double eight pins. Thank goodness I use a fully modular power supply that is like super high end, and like 80 plus platinum and brilliant. And it's a fractal design Ion 660, 860p. It's, it's, it's insane. It's so efficient that I'm gonna do CPU. I'm gonna literally use do. I'm gonna literally going to mine on it because it's so efficient. Screw it. I'm broke. I need to make some money. After today, I'm completely flat out broke. All right. Sometimes in life, you make mistakes. And those mistakes, they hurt your soul. Oh, 
another thing I've noticed, like messing around with more premium power supplies compared to cheaper power supplies, is that the really fancy premium power supplies, the cables just slide right in. But the cheaper ones, they're always stiff and nightmarish to deal with. Like this ion one, the, the power supply cables are well done, so they, they, they just slide in. Very little force is needed to push them in, but plenty of force is needed to pull them out. They click in a place as nature, God, and PC building standards intended them to, and they are just lovely. Unlike those crappy power supply cables that take all the effort in the world, the energy of a thermonuclear reactor to slide in. Unlike those, like, that's the difference between fancy and, and cheap PSUs. So, that's uh, your Top Gear Top tip for the day as well. Oh, I can't see what's going on. I need a workspace so bad. Yeah. Well, the CPU power cables are in at least. I need better lights. I need... Just because they make the later on easier does not mean they make the now better. Okay. I might just end the stream and build it off camera. This is just depressing to deal with. <laughs> I don't know if I can mentally take any, any more setbacks with this PC build. Holy hell. A good thing about this motherboard at least is that it has an integrated I.O. shield. So you don't have to worry about that. That's nice. Um, I need to... Oh Move all these cables out of the way. Oh my goodness. Let's see the live chat. Ben pins everywhere. Ah. <laughs> Finish what you started, boy. Don't worry, there won't be Ben pins anyway. I'm very good at building PCs. I'm just a bit rusty at this point. I hate my life. I am so clumsy with this stuff, man. Just so damn clumsy. Maybe installing it vertically was a better idea. Maybe the, the PC that the real PC to be built was a friend who made along the way. I don't know, but at this point I'll, I'll grasp that. Any straw that can grasp that. This is a tight PC case to build it. Like with MATX motherboard, no problem. Now with a full-size ATX, all the problems in the world have now appeared and decided to slap me in the face <laughs> at the same damn time. So, oh god. I'm gonna throw this uh, motherboard in the bin because who cares about it, right? Who cares? Put, put this away. Come back later after I install my main thing. This is such a tight case to build in. It really is tight fit. Especially with the AIO on the top, it just becomes a really tight fit. It's not stupidly layout, it's not problematic, you know. In, it's just, it's tight, so you have to lay it out and adjust it and then it's in! I'll have to... Ah, oh, I didn't put the PC power connectors in! But okay, at least I figured out how to get it in, so we'll take it out. For Django, I need an Omni desk so bad. <sighs> and 
everyone's leaving my stream now. So. Oh, there's a fan. There's a fan port here. That's nice to see. Huh? I don't know who in the world has such like skinny fingers that their fan cable can fit in there. Cable in real quick. As well as this fan plug. Plug walk, baby. Good, like an ATX motherboard PC. I forgot how pointlessly big ATX is. Why isn't everything just MATX? Just why isn't everything just MATX? Honestly, so much easier to deal with. All right, it's going in. I hope I didn't break anything. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have any issues here, I think. Let's go. Last stretch. And that's that's uh, the hard part done. Oh my Tian. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're good. We're good. I don't know how good, but we're good. Um, and uh, I'm just going to use four screws because I hate you, motherboard. You don't deserve my full screwdriver support. So that's one standoff. That is another standoff. How many standoffs does this motherboard support? Thankfully, this is a magnetic tip screwdriver. The stream is dead, guys. All right. I like them chunky. Moto, Moto likes you! Screw that in. Hey guys, if you see any ads on this stream, just know that I, by watching it, I get like two cents. So, uh, that way you can support this channel just by watching the ads to the end. I get like half a cent for Susan Washishichiki, whatever you However, you're supposed to pronounce her name. And that way, I can make back like a 0.0001% of this PC build's costs to actually afford it. I should not have installed my radiator first. That was my big mistake, I think. Because then I can't I can't screw in the top two top right screws, so that is a bit of a concern. But we have a top left screw, We've got every other screw, so it should be secured enough. I would have you. So. so one thing that's interesting to me is that this motherboard also has supposedly a pretty good uh, I O solution, like a supposed supposedly a pretty good audio solution. So for audio, I'll be. Pretty set apparently. Okay, now let's put the heatsink on with the AORS master. Screw that down. Let's see, what was the chat like now? What's the chat saying? It's a big boy. How fat is the 3080 Ti? It's massive. So I've seen one. It's gigantic. Do you guys see the Aftershock uh, Bubble Tea gaming PC? It's hilarious. I love it. It's it's honestly just, just so it's so absurd that it's hilarious. Um, so we got the CPU power connectors in. Next up is definitely our chunky, lovely twenty four pins. Twenty four pin magic in the air tonight. Head to toe, soul player. Look out! 
down, 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 down. Uh, you guys want to see what's blasphemous? You want to see what's blasphemous? Uh, right here, we have... Wait, wait where, where is it? I can't find it. Uh, I can't find it anymore, anyway. Uh, that when we built this PC and we were cable managing it the other time for the review, we decided to mess with people and put fractal, 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 and then this was be quiet. Just to mess with people, this was a be quiet. Um, <laughs> this is a be quiet strap, just a bit blasphemous, uh, a bit rude, a bit funny. I love it. Okay, I just like, yeah, as much as I didn't like the be quiet pure cooler, I still gave it an overall positive review and I. I but I think be quiet to mad at me for that review, even though I thought that review was quite positive. Which is kind of sad, because I do like Be Quiet's products, I do think they do a great job. I do like the Dark Rock Pro, someone asking me just now, I do like the Dark I really do like the Dark Rock Pro, I do like a lot of what they do, but uh, that Pure Look just wasn't very impressive of a cooler, which is why I had to call it as such. It was no RGB and not very good performer, and it was like underwhelming. Um, so yeah, it's not like I burned my bridge with Be Quiet. So, where is the addressable RGB on this motherboard? That is an important question. Staring it right now, my build also has stuff here and over everything. How is my family doing? My family thinks great. My family is doing great. I have a lovely family. We quarrel all the time, but it's like the normal quarreling, not the toxic quarreling, so it's all good. Uh, you know, a family that doesn't quarrel. They're probably psychopaths, and you should run. Just run for your life. If you see a family that doesn't quarrel, definitely psychopaths. Don't mess with them. Um, okay, now my next difficult challenge is sticking this in, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna guess that it's a single rail design, so well, that will work. Okay. Alright, those are USB-C, those are USB ports. All those ports need to be managed. All those cables need a home. And uh, PCI power needs to go up here. Okay. So we want to manage the fans before we deal with the... I want to manage the fans before I deal with installing the CPU cooler. That is no question about it, so... One thing I do like about the Lumens design is that because there's no cables attached here, you don't have to manage the cable on here, which is very nice as well. So, let's, uh, let's just plug the fans in and the RGB addressable headers into each other, hook them up, join them up, conjoint twins, all that stuff, all those kind of things. Let's say you're supposed to give your pump its own plug, so I'm going to do that. That's the pump plug. Pump plug, my favourite use of alliteration ever. Have you plugged in the pump plug? No, I have not plugged in Mr. Pump Plug. Alright. So the fan goes into uh, male into female into then male into female again and then man this is just a mess to deal with I'm just gonna tie it all down and be done with it by the end of it okay cable management you guys can't really see what I'm doing but it's just it's really messy um Which north? Do you really just ask which north in the chat? Like there's multiple types of norths. My dude, man, what are you talking about? Two RGB fan. Oh, hey, there should be three RGB hitters, no?
Don't tell me I missed out something. I'll be really angry at myself, maybe. Okay. Why is that only two RGB? It should be a third for the lumen water block. Oh, I know. Because you have to plug it in. There is a cable you have to manage. Urgh, my head hurts. It's official, guys. My head is on fire. So the water box is going to go there, like this, right, and then the RGB addressable header, where is it, where is the RGB header, who the f someone bent the LED pin on the bottom, not this, sh it's definitely not me. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Okay. Uh, those are LED C1, D LEDs. Okay. This is um, yeah, this is this is this is not the one that's bent. Thank goodness. Man, this is like a stressful thing to do. I can't wait for the day when like PC building is just simpler than building Legos and stuff like that. So this has to go down here through this little tiny hole right here and then find its way all the way to the addressable LED section of the PC case or the motherboard or whatever you want to call it. Can it fit? Please tell me it fits. Ah! No, it doesn't fit. Bollocks! Okay, now we have to loosen the cable somewhere and find some slack for it. My lord! My goodness, man. This is... My goodness gracious. Who designed the addressable RGB LED there? Oh yeah, the stream is still running. No, I didn't break the mobile. $400 to be featured in LTT, but all your friends will bully you and make WhatsApp stickers for you for buying this. Sounds good. Sounds, sounds like a deal I'll take. I didn't break the mobile, bro. The guy who sold me the mobile broke it. Because I would know if I break a pin. There's no question about it. I can feel it when I break a pin. Because I broke many pins before in my life. And, uh, this one definitely felt was not fun. Okay, let's fix this. No, that was not the right choice. Come on, come on, cable management. Not enough cable length. How? How is that possible? Ah, do we have another addressable RGB LED slot on this motherboard? I do not believe so. It's very highly unlikely that that is the case. Oh my lord, my lord. Okay, we need to figure this out. Maybe I have to shave down the connector. Or maybe I have to find some sort of extension. Oh, my pins. I don't know if you can tell, but I am not having a very good time right now. Yeah, just... Oh, 
Now this one's gonna be quite cool. Well, at least I have a RAM cooler which I can't use because I don't have AIO cables. Oh, I can actually use the RAM cooler. Check that out. It's a RAM cooler. Did someone say top corner right side for what? RGB ports on the top right. Have you seen people do sub seven for two point four? No, I have not. I know the I know the news right now. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for your help. Oh my god, you all are lifesavers, man. Jeez. Give yourself a round of applause in the chat. You guys deserve it. I trust the community, I just didn't see. I yeah. I just didn't I just didn't see the chat just now. Now I need to figure out how to slot it in without bending a pin. Right, isn't it? Alright, they're in. Let's go! Give yourself a round of applause. Round of applause, guys. Do a clapping emoji. Clapping emoji in chat. Sick. Oh, man. Alright, the grind continues. Sigma male grind mindset. Grind set. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you're expecting me to cable manage the back, it will never happen. Shout out to Cody. That's for sure. Shout out to Cody. Um, man. Look, I usually do things more research than this. I try to, but geez, I just... Shouldn't have done this PC build so impromptu, that's for sure. Alright. Um, that's done. Let's deal with the USB 2 ports next, which we will have a port down here for. That's for sure, right? Where's my USB 2 ports? Where are they? Sorry, I'm sorry for missing you. I'm trying to stay positive. Okay, 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 nice. Okay, one problem Fractal did with this case. <laughs> you put on Jalan. <laughs> Shout out to Wan La. Ha 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 ha! Put on Jalan. Cody versus Wan La. Hey bro, TikTok bad boxing challenge, let's go. Um, I don't know what went to Fractal's mind, but they made the USB cable like multicolored and disgusting. Like they, they were this close to greatness. <sighs> hurts hurts my soul sometimes. Okay. Let's do the front panel connectors. Front panel connectors next. For some reason there are only four front panel connectors. It's more than enough in Front panel connectors to deal with in a lifetime. Where are my front panels? Man, I am so hungry right now. Oh my goodness. Where are my front panels? There's no front panel connected on this thing. It's hilarious. Community, I need your help again. You can call Sim into square. Ah, uh, uh. Oh my goodness. 
Let's see, internal connectors, I guess, is the right one. Oh, where are my front panels? Oh, F panels number 12. Oh, they, those do not look like F panels. What? Oh, no, that's front panel USB. I need to look for my uh, power on. I don't know if you can tell I'm really tired. <laughs> Power switch, LED switch. That's. Is that actually front panel? Dude, that's front panel. I'm so angry. Who does front panel connectors that look like that? What? In what world, man? In what world? Right, we'll move on. We'll do the other USB connectors first. This one goes here. So it's our very fragile USB 3.1 connector that's very powerful as well. So that's good to have. Uh, and then we need to plug in our USB 3.0s, which are an essential tool as well. What's this? Is this this is front panel audio? Front panel audio is really simple. So front panel audio and uh, what's the chat? Why does this bot have a noise sensor? <laughs> Don't bend it like Beckham. That's right. What if I do? Huh? Then maybe it'll be coming home. It's coming. It's coming home, it's coming, good folks coming. Fragile, useless connector, USB 3.0. Right. Oh my god, I am going to break it at this rate. I am going to break something with this USB 3 connector. Jeez. Jeez Louise! There you go. Go via the side to reduce the stress. That's a top gear, top tip. Uh, yeah. USB three, good luck. You you called it. Um. I still haven't figured out the front panels. So. Let's see. Is this one pen, pen, pen. Uh, blah blah blah. There's a temperature sensor if you want temperature sensing. Addressable LED strip headers. Our oh, front panel, yeah, it is on the bottom right. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's plug it in gently and aggressively at the same time because we hate this power switch. Power LED. So power switch goes into ah, power switch is the, the second pair from the left. You know why I hate? I hate how after 30 billion years they still have not come up with a standardized front panel connector, just a single plug that just goes into all motherboards and mm, it's not that hard, man. It's just LEDs and power LEDs and stuff, dude. Just, mm, so pissed off. Um, plus and minus. At least there are only power LEDs to deal with on here. There's no like HDD LEDs and stuff. Is the pass on the left? Yes, the pass is on the left. Oh god. My lord, lord, lord. I wish you could listen to music right now, but I can't. Because of copyright laws.
let's go. We're all in this together. Deep breaths, deep breaths. I'm this close to tilting. I am so close to tilting. I am so close. You put one in, the other comes out. You put the other in, the first one comes out. Just stay. Like that Justin Bieber, Kit Leroy song. Right? I don't know if it's in properly, but they were never important to me in the first place, so I don't really care. So long as the power switch is in, that's all what I care about. Okay. I like how there's still 23 viewers who are still here. I'm surprised that you all haven't left yet. Average sex tech enjoyers. <sighs> Tekodi, don't go, bro. You're like literally hard carrying. Tekodi and one la. Um, Okay, uh, anyway, don't go because uh, now it's time for AIO or GP? Okay, it's AIO time. We're going to install the AIO and then we're up. God, don't scratch my nice, lovely case. And then it's time to install the GPU. I will not show you guys the camera management in the back, just out of shame. Out of the shame that I'll bring my ancestors if I show you the camera management in the back. I'm gonna start by strapping some things down so I can get a better idea of stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, camera managing, guys. Thumbs up in chat. Ah, crap! I'm dead now. Oh, do you have a Swiss Army knife with a screwdriver on the end? Just doing my cable management. My national duty to cable manage my PC a little bit. At the very least, a little bit. Um, yep. That's me. You might be wondering how I got here. Oh, we got 26 viewers. How? Always cable manage to get the guys that face. I like how you're inclusive. I approve. Very inclusive. Very nice. Um, we're going to install the AIO now and then we're going to install the GPU which, let's be honest, is the best part of the whole group. So that would be good. Next. I can't remember how I did this. I think it was... Ah, yes. So what you would do is you would take these springy screws, if I remember correctly and screw them halfway down like this so they become like the clips, just like a rife prism right? and then you just kind of secure loosely first onto this and then they will clip on and you'll be in for a very fun, enjoyable time they will just clip on, then you screw it and clamp it down so it's a very simple mounting mechanism Compared to all the other AIOs, you don't have to deal with back plates or putting a stand off behind the motherboard. You just kind of do that. Do 
today on I absolutely do not know if I'm doing it correctly or wrong because I haven't done this in a while. Oh, yeah, I think I am doing it correctly. Yep. I haven't put thermal compound yet, I'm just test fitting because I can't exactly remember certain things on this. Okay. Uh, time to get some thermal compound and uh, I have a few options but I will probably go with the cryo rig CP7 that I got over here. It's cryo paste. I'm going to put excessive amounts of thermal paste because I am hemostasis in the flesh. Thermal compound application, not complete because there's none of none of this coming up. Is it like has it, has it run out? Oh no, it's just, it's just secure. Oh, there's the cap. 3700X getting its thermal compound application. I'm just gonna apply excessive amounts on it because I am I am gamers nexus in the flesh. This is way too much. I don't really care though. Okay, let's hook the second hook onto the clip. And then start tightening and screwing down the clips as such. Do this wrong. I feel like I did did it wrong as always. <laughs> I probably did it wrong. Oh, hold up. Let me refer to my Lumen review. Jesus. Let's look at the manual. <laughs> Because I, I lost the manual. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where's the lumen? I guess the Celsius would have a similar mounting mechanism. Wait, what exactly did I do wrong here? Did I do anything wrong? Um, oh, I know what I did wrong. I think... Yeah, I'm an idiot. I put the bracket in the wrong way around so it was too high up and I couldn't screw it down. Sometimes my genius, it generates gravity. Now it's a nightmare to unscrew. Lovely. I'm so disappointed in myself, guys. No! <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but there was real panic in my voice when I dropped that screw. Ah, oh, God! Damn it!
They say to succeed like Linus, you have to drop things like your Linus. And uh, that is what I intended to do to demonstrate it on today's stream. I will become Linus Tech Tips in all aspects of it. From the Okay, why is it not clipping on? Well, at least we know the thermal compound application will be really good. Okay, it's clipped. Yes! So now we have that down, we can tighten a little by little, preferably in a cross pattern. I don't, I'm sorry, you guys couldn't see anything that was happening in the last like 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm just too distracted by this right now. So basically, I just needed to clip it on and then screw it tight, clamp it down with the screws, really get it tight, get a nice, secure, snug fit on there. And that is my all in one water cooler. Now, the la one of the few things left remaining to do will be to take my all in one water cooler and plug will be to take the AIO. Uh, it's addressable RGB cable and plug it in. I probably should have installed the RGB cable in first, but you guys already realized that I'm a bit of an idiot. So, oh, man, I'm just callous. I'm very callous here. This RGB cable not needs to go in there, but it's already screwed in. So. I remember my friend managed to squeeze it in without unscrewing, so I'm going to attempt to do that. See. Let me make sure we get the right orientation first. We'll try, we'll try both orientations. I'm, I'm very friendly to all, all types of orientations. Maybe if we unscrew this, no, it doesn't work that way. Oh man, oh jeez, Rick. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rick. All right, I think I got it. Almost, almost. Or oh, maybe it's upside down. Let's try the other way around. Oh, that rhymes. Oh, yeah, that's the right way up, I think. It doesn't feel like it's quite going in. What is the chat saying right now? They're just laughing at me. Is AIO risky? Yes, it is not really risky. Nowadays, AIOs are pretty good, they're pretty solid, so we don't have to worry about them. Oh, I think it's going in. I can't believe that 20 people are watching me fiddle a damn cable in. You guys are like the best. The best of the best. Um. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. God damn. I don't know how to do this. I don't want to have to unscrew everything. But I think I might have to. <laughs> Pain. Suffering. At least we can check how good the thermal compound application was.
Uh, yeah, thermal compound application was lovely, except you put too much thermal compound, way too much, but that's okay. We'll clean off the edges as we do. All right. Um, As long as it doesn't shot out any pins, it'll be fine. Um, so we have, what we need to plug in is this thingy right here. There you go. That was the one problem, I would argue, with the design of this lumen. Unfortunately, it's something that I forgot to bring out. Okay, AIO win, boys. We major our thermal. Don't forget to update our drivers, obviously, of course. That will be the first thing I do with this PC. We're close, guys. We're getting close. I'm actually really excited because we're actually going to be building this PC very soon. I didn't test boot it, so if it doesn't work, I'm screwed. But who knows? I'm a risk taker, right? I'm a risk taker. I know the parts, all of them are working, but I did not test boot it. Even for like good luck or something. Uh, and because you guys stayed to the late part of the stream, you get to see... No la! The uh, Gamers Nexus already did a benchmark. You don't need to reapply thermal paste. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, the performance difference is... Zero. As long as you don't touch it. Um, there is still thermal paste there that I didn't touch. It was, it was just spread out and mushed up. Okay, and we'll see the temps. If the temps are problematic, then I'll reapply thermal paste. But let's hope it is not problematic at all. Alright, you guys get to see the GPU, guys. Ah, uh. okay, let's, let's not tempt fate too much. <laughs> let's not tempt fate too much. Okay, in goes the PCIe power cable, one single 8 pin is enough, lovely, and then we will manage it obviously a little bit. Clean, neat goes down like that, really tight as well. And then the, we'll finally manage this by cable tying some of these things down. And uh, that's it. That's it, boys. We could do with some cable management, but I want to see if it boots up before I actually even bother with cable management uh, and all those things. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are at my streaming setup now. Well, we'll use this laptop. Uh, by the way, guys, this ASUS G14 is on sale. $1,650, RTX 2060, and uh, one terabyte SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, Ryzen 7 4800HS, 8 core processor. Very nice laptop on sale. Look, 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 when you turn it, it even has this little stand. It's very nice. On sale, 1.65k, contact me on Discord. You know, you know the drill. Okay, so this is the streaming setup. Let's see, let's take, let me show you. 
Let me show. Oh, oh, bollocks. No lie, selling uh, bro. Okay, so this this is the streaming setup. It does have a keyboard. I need to go get a keyboard later. But we're gonna plug in the PC and see if it even works in the first place. Uh, that's probably the most important aspect of this whole thing is if the PC works. So. Um, PC is here, the display port cable is plugged in. Over into the GPU. If this doesn't boot, uh, I, I'll be so disappointed in my life. I just mm. all right. Plugging the display port cable in. Let me give you a closer. Uh, no man, you, you can't you can't you can't say that you or you can only dream that of a room this big. You you gotta believe that you can get a room this big. Uh, it starts with the mindset. I'm not gonna say say it like I'm someone who's earned it because this is definitely my father's work. But uh, but my. But that's what my father's told me, which is to, to never doubt. If you doubt, you're never gonna make it. And um, I believe him. Okay, I need the power cable. Uh, I need to find a power cable, boys. I can't even find a power cable. I'm choking at the last corner. I am literally choking right now. Oh, I found the power cable. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Will it boot? Can I get a drum roll chat? Can I get a drum roll chat? Can I get a drum roll in chat? Please give me drum roll chat. Get a keyboard first. Drum roll and check. Got, got my crappy USB and keyboard and mouse that is a backup, but it works, so that's good enough. Boom. Pow pow splat. All right, these these are this is okay. Go oh, out. I nearly cut myself there. That would have been really bad. Okay. Okay, guys. Drum roll, drum roll. We're building the PC. Drum roll, drum roll. Okay, 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 okay. Is the power switch on? Yes, it's on. On the power supply? Okay, okay. Ready? Here we go! We got fans, we got post. Do we have post? Let's let's see, let's see, let's see. We got fans, fans spinning. That Corsair fan is a bit rackly. It needs to be run at low RPM, which I don't mind. All right, will it post? It's not posting. Is it posting? Is it posting? Is it posting? Um, all right, let's turn on my monitor and check the menu, check the inputs, make sure everything is the right settings and uh, we'll see how it goes oh no signal god damn it input oh 
Oh my god, it's not. No, no signal. That's not, that's not very good. It does have error codes. Nah, I don't, I don't, I didn't kill it. I didn't kill it. Relax, relax. Oh, no. Oh, post. Shut up. Everyone said, everyone said I killed it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Don't curse me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got our uh, X5, X570 3700X, uh, XMP has to be this M enable or Doc P, whatever they call it, easy mode. What? What is this? We're not doing easy mode today. We're going to hop into settings. Uh, yep, that's RAM support set. All right. Okay. Okay, okay. Settings. Um Smart Fan 5. Let's go into the Ooh. That's that's pretty aggressive. You know what? I'm just gonna let the smart fans deal with it. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'll, I'll do it in software. Okay. Everything is done correctly. Boot drive, boot option. Wait, there's an SSD in here. What? The guy left his SSD in here. There's a WDS, right? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but either way. We'll do we'll, we'll do the Lexa as the boot drive, and uh, I'll need to have a boot key. Which is quite worrying because I don't have a USB drive, guys. Um, I can't actually put Windows on here. I think um, I don't know where my USB drive is. Bollocks! Oh no! Only to stumble and fail in the last step. Let's. Oh, at least it posts and it works brilliantly. That's the most important. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to add one more thing. I forgot to add my Corsair Vengeance Airflow RAM cooler, which I shall now add to my rig after removing this ugly sticker. Look at this Vengeance Airflow, man. This is like straight out 2000. 2004. I'll take all the airflow I can get. Yeah, it was looking for its previous stuff first, probably. Um. Am I plugging in things? <laughs> ah, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. I'll leave this for my next rig. This is a bit stupid to do now. But yeah, guys. It boots. It, it boots. I can finally take a nap. I'm so proud. We got our 3060 Ti rig up. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for all the people for for, for sticking sticking all the way. Uh, it's What time is it? One hour, 40 minutes. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, can we get a can we get a celebration emoji or something in chat? All right, let's go. Pop, 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 champ all around. Let's go, dude. It's been a journey. Two hours flat. Yes. Pang kang, pang kang. All right. Oario, oario. So yeah, it all boots. It all actually works. It's a lovely time. I'm elated. And I'm going to go sleep. Poop emoji. <laughs>
All right. Um, either way, I think I'm just going to end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe? I don't know. Bye. Good night, boys.